Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Following the conclusion of season 28 of The Bachelor, Joey Graziade and Kelsey Anderson announced their engagement on Instagram with a video from their picture shoot. Despite just knowing one another for a little over a year, Joey and Kelsey are already preparing for their wedding. While filming Joey's season debut episode of The Bachelor in September 2023, the couple got to know one another. That evening, the 28-year-old tennis star saw 32 women. A record for the series, but he handed his last rose to Kelsey, a 25-year-old Louisiana junior project manager. Joey gave Kelsey a diamond in addition to his heart and last rose, and the two joyfully ran out into the sunset together as engaged. Ever since, the stars of The Bachelor season 28 have been traveling the world and expanding their social media followings together, making the most of every minute. Since the pair announced their romance to the world many months ago, many people have been asking for details regarding their wedding. Although Joey and Kelsey have not yet disclosed a date, they just posted photos from their engagement photo shoot. In their engagement video, Joey and Kelsey are shown having fun as they stroll through a picture-perfect park. The photographer, captured by Chloe, shared the video to Instagram. It shows Joey matching Kelsey's outfit with khaki pants and a white shirt. Kelsey looks stunning in the dress. He twirls and chases her in a playful manner at one point, and then they relax by a river. Even though it's a little corny, the footage itself is stunning and Joey and Kelsey look amazing. Joey and Kelsey have been the subject of much attention lately, despite the fact that they have been in the spotlight since being chosen for The Bachelor season 28. Following the show's filming, the couple experienced a brief financial crisis and even temporarily lived off of Joey's credit cards. They disclosed their finances, but they often shared pictures of opulent trips on social media, raising suspicions that they were overspending. Things might have changed for Joey and Kelsey since then, as their influencer careers have expanded and they even received an Amazon Prime Day sponsorship. Even though the pair appears to be trying too hard, these dramatic engagement photos have gained popularity on social media. During an interview with Business Insider in March, just after the ABC broadcast of The Bachelor 28 season final, Joey and Kelsey disclosed that they were already receiving couples counseling. They clarified that because their communication styles differ, they were taking this precautionary step. The Bachelor season 28 concluded its filming in November 2023, which coincided with Joey and Kelsey's engagement. Since Joey placed the ring on Kelsey's finger about eight months ago, the pair has not yet scheduled a date. Regarding the delay, Kelsey and Joey have stated that they don't want to add the stress of wedding planning to their already full plate. Location seems to be a factor in this issue. Prior to becoming The Bachelor, Joey resided in Hawaii, while Kelsey was a resident of New Orleans, Louisiana. They are currently residing at Kelsey's house with her roommates. Since they travel so frequently, their current position works for them, but ultimately they will need to choose a permanent residence. However, this engagement photo shoot should indicate that the couple will soon announce their wedding date. Sarah Heron showed up in season 17 of The Lone Ranger and returned for two times of Single Guy in Heaven. As of late, she and her significant other, Dylan Brown, invited twin child down ladies. They were conceived early, thus, they remained in the NHCU. In any case, presently, one of them has been released while the other remaining parts in the NHCU. Sarah uncovered feeling blended feelings. What did she need to say? continue to periods to figure out more. Sarah Heron had twin infants after Oliver. Lone Ranger and Heaven fans were miserable to hear that Dylan Brown and Sarah lost their untimely child kid, Oliver, in 2023. 
The current year's commemoration of his passing came when she was conveying her twin little girls, Everett and Colette. As you can envision, her feelings were blended on that day. Sarah Heron invited her twin girls on July 1, and they as well were conceived rashly. Seven and a half weeks early was a piece disturbing, so the previous single guy in heaven star ready for an extended stay with them in the NICU. From that point forward, she has provided her fans with a great deal of updates on Coco and Evie. The unhitched male alum's child released from NICU. In front of the end of the week, Lone Ranger Country detailed that the unscripted television alum had one of the twins released from the NICU. Notwithstanding, she and Dylan Brown haven't brought the child back home yet. Which twin was all right for release? Indeed, it was Evie. The power source referred to Sarah Heron's Instagram story on what occurred and she sounded a piece destroyed over the partition of the twins. While Evie was flourishing, her twin sister had somewhat of a mishap. She said, Around the same time that Ev was released, Colette was struggling with eating and putting on weight. Everybody continued to inquire as to whether I was so energized for Everett, and keeping in mind that yes I was, I was likewise very destroyed that the young ladies were being isolated and that Colette had made a couple of strides back. Each NIQ mom realizes how smashing a couple of steps back can feel. And to have your twins isolated is the most horrendously terrible inclination of all time. For the present, the entire family stays in the medical clinic, and like that, Evie and Colette can in any case somewhat stay together. She added, they let us actually carry Evie into the NICU for feedings with the goal that the young ladies can eat and remain on a similar rest slash -e plan. Luckily, maybe Coco is beginning to get to the next level. So ideally, the single guy alum will before long have both of their little twins released from the emergency clinic. What do you think about Sarah Heron being a piece destroyed with leaving one of her twins in the NICU? Do you trust that soon, Colette can join her sister and her folks at home? Yell out in the remarks underneath and return here frequently for all your endlessly lone wolf in heaven news. Sarah Heron had twin babies after Oliver. Bachelor in Paradise fans were sad to hear that Dylan Brown and Sarah lost their premature baby boy Oliver in 2023. This year's anniversary of his passing came when she was carrying her twin daughters, Everett and Colette. As you can imagine, her emotions were mixed on that day. Sarah Heron welcomed her twin daughters on July 1, and they too were born prematurely. Seven and a half weeks early was a bit alarming, so the former Bachelor in Paradise star prepared for a long stay with them in the NICU. Since then, she has given her fans a lot of updates on Coco and Evie. The Bachelor alum's baby discharge from AIQ ahead of the weekend, Bachelor Nation reported that the reality TV alum had one of the twins discharged from the AICU. However, she and Dylan Brown haven't taken the baby home yet. Which twin was well enough for discharge? Well, it was Evie. The outlet cited Sarah Heron's Instagram story on what happened, and she sounded a bit torn up over the separation of the twins. While Evie was thriving, her twin sister had a bit of a setback. She said, On the same day that F was discharged, Colette was having a hard time eating and gaining weight. Everyone kept asking me if I was so excited for Everett. And while yes I was, I was also extremely torn up that the girls were being separated and that Colette had taken a few steps back. Every Q mama knows how crushing a few steps back can feel. And to have your twins separated is the worst feeling ever. For now the whole family stays in the hospital, and that way, Evie and Colette can still partially remain together. She added, they let us still bring Evie into the NICU for feedings so that the girls can eat and stay on the same sleep-slash-eat schedule. Fortunately, it seems as if Coco is starting to improve. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.